Hello guys, I'm back again. My name is Mr. Nyati and I'm here to do a video on uh, the industrial or commercial preparation of nitric acid. And uh, before I go any further, may I just say, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button, the, uh, the bell button so that uh, whenever I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first person to receive it. And uh, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to know is that uh, the industrial preparation of um, uh, nitric acid, the name of the process is called the Ostwald process. The Ostwald process. So this is the commercial uh, 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 method or commercial process of preparing nitric acid. If I say ammonia, I made nitric acid. And so, what is this all about, the Ostwald process? What does it involve? So, it involves quite a number of steps, which I think are basically three. The first step is known as the ammonia oxidation. The ammonia oxidation. And in this process, basically, you have the uh, ammonia gas being reacted with uh, excess air to produce nitrogen monoxide and hydrogen gas and if you look at this equation this equation is not balanced so for us to balance it we'll quickly go into balancing it we're going to have a four here a five here a four here and a six here i normally call this because this equation if you try to balance it normally step by step you may find that we may waste a lot of time but uh, when you balance it in that way, <coughs> it, uh, I mean, uh, you find that you just look at the numbers which are required to be put and balance it. And if you, if you want to know more on balancing equation, go to my previous video where I did uh, more concept question solution. That was GCE 2024, question 5 in section B. We proceed. So I usually call them 45, 46 whenever I'm balancing the reaction which is involved in the ammonia oxidation. So now in this uh, reaction, what we need to know is that there should be some conditions that should be met. And these are two conditions, catalyst and temperature. Why am I not saying three, including this? Because three, I mean, the pressure is done before this, these two or before this process takes place. So the pressure uh, 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 the, the, it is done or the, the pressure part is uh, takes place when the compression takes place before the reaction of this. And so these are the two conditions which will be asked in a question. And so you have a catalyst which is an alloy of platinum rhodium. And uh, the temperature ranges basically from 700 to 900, but uh, you pick this as your answer when you are asked a question. This is the first process, which we are the first step, which is ammonia oxidation. What is the second step in the ammonia, I mean in nitric uh, 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 preparation using the Ostwald process? The second process is known as the oxidation of nitrogen monoxide. Now remember in this reaction we have reacted now ammonia <coughs> with oxygen gas to produce this. Now it is this that we are going to use to oxidize it to nitrogen mono, uh, dioxide. So in the second process, in the second step we have uh, oxidation of nitrogen monoxide uh, to give us nitrogen dioxide and when we balance this equation you realize that we have three oxygen atoms this side two oxygen atoms one nitrogen what if we start with a two and then we're going to have two nitrogen atoms four oxygen atoms this will uh, uh, tell us to add a two here where we're going to have uh, two nitrogen atoms two nitrogen atoms two oxygen plus two that gives us four on the reactant side and then is two times two gives us four. The equation is balanced. And this is the equation that you are required to know. And so in the first step, we had the oxidation of ammonia where we reacted ammonia with oxygen to give us nitrogen monoxide. 
and the water and the nitrogen monoxide that, uh, that was produced, we use this nitrogen monoxide to react with uh, oxygen to give us nitrogen dioxide. And then in the third step, we are going to use the nitrogen dioxide, which we have produced in the oxidation of nitrogen monoxide. We use that to react with water. And this process is basically called the absorption of nitrogen dioxide. So if a question comes in an exam to say, explain how uh, nitrogen dioxide produced in the reaction of nitrogen monoxide and oxygen gas is used to produce nitric acid. So you say by reacting it with water, because it is reacted with water, it is absorbed in water to produce nitrogen, uh, nitrogen, uh, I mean to produce ammonia, excuse me, to, I'll repeat that, nitrogen dioxide is reacted with water or absorbed in water to produce nitric acid and nitrogen dioxide. Now, we need to balance this equation. And we can balance it by looking at this the way they are. We have uh, three atoms of oxygen, we have four atoms of oxygen, two atoms of nitrogen. And uh, so for us to balance this easily, we need to add a two here because we have two hydrogen atoms, two hydrogen atoms. We now have two plus three. I mean, two plus one, this gives us three atoms of nitrogen. So we at a three here, then we have a fully balanced chemical equation. This is how nitrogen, I mean, this is how uh, nitric acid is produced. Now, this nitric acid that has been produced is usually a uh, 68% concentration, and it cannot go beyond that by boiling. Why? Uh, what you need to understand is that when uh, ni when, ammo when ni nitric acid is being uh, produced, boiled at, uh, uh, at a certain temperature, you realize that the concentration doesn't go beyond 68%. Why? Because it forms an azeotrope. Now, what is an azeotrope? An azeotrope is basically a constant boiling mixture. So this sim simply means that the solution boils without change in concentration. So how can you further purify this? How can you further have uh, more concentration? You can use the process of distillation and by using either uh, sulfuric acid, you use sulfuric acid or magnesium, you use sulfuric acid or magnesium nitrate. Why? Because these two are good dehydrating agent agents which can help us purify uh, uh, nitric acid further beyond 68%. Um, I hope this video was helpful.